Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Fishing Rod. So normally when I'm out on the sturgeon fishing trip with my friends, I usually like to stay behind the camera, not only to capture the action, but to avoid doing the work. Well since I'm earning around 130 pounds, uh, this type of fishing is simply not my cup of tea. But once in a while I do enjoy setting the hook when we get lots of bites, so after Carl and Alex had caught their first ever sturgeon while we were in Chilliwack, I really wanted to set the hook on the last fish of the day. And that decision led to a pretty interesting outcome. Um, as you can see we moved to a new spot and before we even got the fourth rod out, a pretty big fish has taken the bait. I set the hook pretty hard and uh, that fish came straight towards us which is pretty unusual. Um, at one point I thought I had lost the fish because the line went kind of slack but once I caught up to it, um, it went further upstream but towards the right and as you can see it almost got pulled into the Fraser River. And while that was happening, the rig land was holding on to also got tangled up onto my main line. That fish made a U-turn and started heading downstream. There's nothing I could have done except just holding onto the rod for the ride. The fish was in full control. Eventually Carl took over the rod and we pulled anchor to give chase. Unfortunately the fish had gone into the snag at one point and broke us off at the end. Many thanks to our sponsor Tourism and Chilliwack for making this project possible. Chilliwack offers world class fishing opportunities throughout the entire year and you can find out more about it by visiting fishchilliwack.com We also like to thank Fraserway RV for getting us to our destinations. If you are coming to British Columbia and are looking for accommodation options, definitely check out their campus. For more information, please visit fraserway.com For more fishing information in British Columbia, please check out our website at fishingwithrod.com and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, we also have new videos coming out. And if you have any other questions regarding fishing in British Columbia, please leave a comment and I'm always happy to answer them. Until next time, good luck fishing.